Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video, we're going to look at some Windows run commands to save you some time. If you if you run Windows, you know that with every update, Microsoft is making UI changes. And sometimes it's just not easy for us to get to places that we used to be able to to run administrative tasks that we're used to. Man, that was a mouthful, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you these run commands. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them that I've selected to show you. You may know these, you may not. Uh, I will put them down in the description as well, but these are gonna be a time saver if you administer Windows. So let's hop on over to my desktop. You can see nice, pretty, I don't know where that is, it's the mountains, but it looks great. So what we're going to do is we're going to use on our keyboard the Windows key and the R key. And it is going to bring up the run command. I typically like to pin this to the taskbar so that I don't have to hit, hit Windows R. I can just click it. It's the same mileage really to get there. So you can see the first command that I've already got in there is Control User Passwords 2. And if I click OK, what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the... the user accounts, control panel, administration section, and I can add local users to this machine. If I come over to advanced and hit advanced user management, you can see this is actually not Windows 10, this is Windows 11, so Windows is actually confused. But I can go ahead and manage passwords, manage users right from this screen. The next one that I want to show you, we're going to hit Windows R. We're going to type in sysdm.cpl. You can see I use these commands quite a bit. So when I do that, it's going to bring up the system properties. The, the system properties that we are all used to with our hardware tab, our advanced tab, system protection, and our remote tab. Quick way to get there instead of clicking and getting frustrated when the UI changes. The next one is gonna get you right to device management. So that's D-E-V-M-G-M-T, probably short for device management. And that is gonna take us over to the computer device manager. Here we can update drivers, uninstall, check out when there's problems. Also, if I sound a little blocky, I am purposefully not saying uh or ah. So just keep that in mind and I don't use a teleprompter, this is all straight from the head. I do have the teleprompter. 2025 might be the year of the teleprompter. Let me know what you think down below. Okay, the next one that we are gonna do is gonna be control printers. Oop. And if you don't type the command right, just like that, nothing loads. So don't get frustrated, just check your, check your command. Now, I think there's another command to get us directly into the print server. If you know that, put it in the comments down below. The next command you're gonna love, if you do anything with networking with Windows and you need to change you know, static IP addresses on, look at what's going on, you're gonna love this one. So if we do control net connections, check this out, the old view of our network connections. How valuable is that? We don't have to get frustrated in the new control panel, we can come right here, we can make all the changes to these adapters that we need to. The next command is gonna be appwiz.cpl. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna bring us to add remove programs the way we remember seeing it instead of just that app screen. So I really like a lot of these commands. You can see I've got a bunch of stuff installed there. The next one is CMD, and of course that brings up our command prompt. Command prompt is highly usable, especially if you're troubleshooting. I'm gonna do another video on some further commands. I did a video last year on some useful network troubleshooting commands. I'll do some Windows specific commands. And then the last one is if you, you use remote desktop, you can do MSTSC. That will start remote desktop. And if you need to start it as an admin 
session, you can do the admin. You can see right there that it brings it up. We don't have to go in and try to, to find this in Windows. If there's any other commands that you think people should know for administration and they should know them quickly, let us know down in the comments and we'll, we'll try them out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's right there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to discuss these commands or other commands or anything technology-related, head on over to community.willyhow.com. Sign up and start the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.